This video is to illustrate the idea of differentiability. I've got a function here, it's uh, two parabolas piecewise together. Um, just to show you what that formula looks like. When x is less than 1, I use the function x squared. And um, when x is greater than or equal to 1, I use this um, additional parabola. It has a vertex at x equals 3. Um, but what I want to point out is that at this point at x equals 1, the graphs meet at a corner. And I want to emphasize how that relates to the idea of differentiability and the definition of the derivative. So the definition of the derivative says we take the point of interest and we take a second point um, some distance away. So I'm going to call the point A my original point, and the point B is at 1 plus h. And so I can change this value of h. And notice what happens. I'll turn on this animation this h is going to go towards 0 and you'll see that this point b moves towards the point a and my secant line, so this is a secant line right now is going to look more and more like a one-sided tangent line so let's move, let's move that in so can you see that this the line coming from the right has a slope um, that if I come up to this point up here it looks like my slope is negative 1. Um, if I come from the left and set h equals minus 1, and if I imagine this point moving to the right, um, I'm going to get a different slope coming from that other side. Okay, So this time if I go to the right, if I go to the right one for a unit change to the right, I go up 1, 2. So the, the slope coming from the left has a value of 2. And so I get different tangent lines coming from the left and from the right. This is one of the ways to say it's not differentiable. If the derivative from the left and the derivative from the right give different values. All right, now I've made a slight modification. I've changed my function so that um, it's not continuous here at x equals 1. So let me show you the new definition. Uh, my new definition of my function uh, is still x squared on the left, but um, I've changed how I divide it on the right, so it's now divided by 2. I get a different value. Notice that at x equals 1, my value is, is the value 2. Okay, So let's take a look and see what happens as I, I'm going to turn on my second point, and I'm going to turn on my line. Okay, So as I come in from the left this time, Notice what's happening to my, my secant line. Um, because there's this jump in the graph, the closer and closer I get to h equals 0, my, my secant line has a positive slope that's getting vertical. And so the limit on the left is positive infinity. Okay. If I come from the right, though, notice that now, coming from the right, it has a nice, has a nice slope. As I get closer and closer here, um, my slope, if I go over 1, I'm going down 2, so I've got a right derivative of negative 2, where my left derivative was positive infinity. So anytime there's a discontinuity in my graph, um, I'm going to have, well, every time there's a discontinuity in the graph and my function's defined, so there's a point, um, I'm going to end up having an infinite one-sided derivative, or maybe both sides will be infinite. Here's a third example. Again, let's take a look at how I've defined my function. Um, it's still piecewise. When x is less than 1, I'm still using x squared. And I, I've again changed the formula for my function on the right. Um, notice that my function is continuous at this point x equals 1. Um, but I'm using two different parabolas on the left and the right. So let's take a look at what happens as I let h go towards 0 from both sides. So we start with h equals 1, we're going to let h get close to 0 from the right, so we're finding the right derivative. So notice, coming from the right, my slope, if I go to the right one unit, I go up two units, so the slope from the right has a value 2. If I come from the left and let h go towards 0, I get the same limit. Okay. And so now the left derivative and the right derivative, the limit of the secant line, whether I come from the right or the left, I get the same limiting slope.
And so this function is differentiable at x equals 1. To be differentiable, I must be continuous, and the slope coming from the left and from the right have to agree.